In three, two, one, go! During the first 15 seconds, the are autonomous, and they have an extra opportunity to get three points for moving outside their community. That's the taped-off area that they began in. Again, just three points for moving across that tape line. 4272 getting additional points to remain balanced on top of their charge station, along with 1024, what's once again is currently a ranked one at this competition. Their ranking point average is 3.3, so they're hoping to get three or more in this match to maintain that high standings. 8116, that's Hatch and Robotics. A very boxy but useful design. They have these gravity-based orientation methods that allows them to quickly move game pieces and place them in the grid. Their opponents, 1024, now placing a cone in the high part of the grid. Each of those worth five points for their alliance. 80... 38-65 knows what they're up against in this competition, playing defense on their opponents, trying to prevent them from scoring, staying in the middle of the field, getting some bumper and bumper action to slow their folks down. 135, Pender Robotics Black Knights picking up a cone from the ground. Not a lot of teams could do that in the competition, so it's allowed them to decrease their cycle times until they've exhausted all the field components, at which point they'll use the loading area, just like 4272 has successfully demonstrated making their way quickly to Foster Field to join their alliance partner. 1024 continuing to place pieces on the high parts of the grid. The score is currently 52 to 52. Plenty of room for that to change with the remainder of the match, but they're keeping it tightly knit. About a minute remains. 447 has this unique glabber method that allows them to pick up pieces from the ground as well. They're a little bit slower than their uh, partners, but they're allowed to still make an uh, effort towards their score. About 40 seconds remaining in the match. One thirty-five. that's Pender Robotics for Mr. Waka, hoping to score a couple more points before we reach end game. We're now moving into the last 25 seconds. We'll start to see opponents or robots move towards their charge stations. That's that small Cheeto totter that you see. If they can get it into a balanced configuration by the end of the match, they can score additional points for their teams. Neither team seems to have reached the relink bonus, except the Blue Lions just has additional points for their team. Blue Lions trying to balance their side of the charge station to gain extra points for their alliance. Unfortunately, they're unsuccessful. We'll have to see how this scores total up. Let's hear scores for all question match 55. And your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 111. Ranking points only three though, which is a lot less than they were expecting. Still maintaining their high ranking point positions.